Thank you for being such an incredible audience. As you know, thank you. As you know, this is a very special night for us. It's our final performance here at the Dominion Theatre. Is that a boo? <laughs> this is a show, I think you'll all agree, that raised the roof and touches so many lives. We stand up here riding the most extraordinary wave of support. And that's been true since the, f the show first debuted. Since then, many people have played their part in this amazing journey. But it's our great pleasure to stand together as part of this incredible cast of the final West End performance. As we depart the Dominion Theatre tonight, we do so with our heads held high and our hearts very full. As it's the last night, we must thank a few people who you don't see on stage, but who are integral to the production day in and day out. Yes. Our producers and managers, David Sonnenberg, Michael Cole, Tony Smith, Julian Stoneman, Mark Green, Queen of Our Lives, Jackie Morgan, Jack Maple, and Simon Marlowe. They have been leaders, yes. Supporters and incredible friends from the very beginning. And tonight, it is a thrill of us to have a number of the very original creative team here. And I'd like to welcome them onto the stage. Headed by Jay Scheib, our director. Mike Reed, our arranger and musical supervisor. John Borsa, our production designer. And Steve Sidwell, our orchestrator. Without these brilliant people, there really would be no show. It was their brilliance and heart that made this piece what it is. And it goes without saying, we send huge love and gratitude to those who weren't able to attend tonight's show. Emma Portner, Finn Ross, Patrick Woodruff, Gareth Owen, and David Grindrod, and all their associates. But a very special mention must go to Nick Evans, Michael Naylor, Rob Emery, and Stuart Boother. <laughs> There are so many people that need to be mentioned from the most amazing band that the West End could ask for. To the stage management team, automation, video, lighting, sound, wardrobe and wigs departments. As well as our resident creative team who have looked after every note played every fight staged, and every dance step taken. <laughs> Our offstage team have been the strongest link in the chain that makes this show what it is. We must also acknowledge what an incredible home the Dominion Theatre has been. <laughs> this place has a magic of its own, and that comes from the management team, a wonderful stage crew, dressers, follow spot operators, box office team, and front of house staff. Yes, thank you. You are the first people our audience meet when they come to the show and you define their experience. Thanks to you and to the army of advertising, marketing, press, and accounts departments, a uh, massive thank you to you all for spreading the bat love. And this year's cast, know that we inherited a show that was shaped and built by the original Manchester team, who took the remarkable music and lyrics of Jim Steinman and the brilliance of Meatloaf and shaped it into a show that was personal, passionate, and powerful. <laughs> Without that first cast, this piece really would not have the personality or truth that it has today. And those of us who were there on the first day have reveled in the spirit and talent those who joined us here in the Dominion have brought to the stage. It raised this beautiful piece to new levels and reaffirmed the joy of working in this company night after night. All of us will have Bat Out of Hell stamped across our hearts wherever we travel next. Every day, every night, we feel the fever grow.
But the final thank you must be to you, the most incredible audience the West End has seen. In the auditorium, at stage door, in your seats, you've really been the beating heart of this show. You have been everything. <laughs> Ooh, gotta hold it together now. Okay. In Manchester in February 2017, we met and you have followed us to the London Coliseum, onto Toronto and back home to the Dominion Theatre. We have soared because you've given us wings to fly. Okay. The beat is yours forever. And so we finish this special night with a little added extra. <laughs> a thank you to you, the fans who made this show such a very special place to be. Because even though we don't quite know when we will all meet again, one thing about the music of Jim Steinman and the heartbeat of Bat Out of Hell is for sure. It may be out of sight for a little while, but it just won't quit. <laughs>